Are you looking for the best USB and USB-C hubs? In this video we will look at some of the 7 best USB and USB-C hubs on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1, Atola 5 Port USB 3.0 Hub Powered USB Hub Atola Aluminium 5 Port USB 3.0 Hub with 4 USB 3.0 data ports and 1 USB Smart Charging Port USB Splitter with 5 volts slash 3A Power Adapter and Individual Switches USB Hubs are becoming less common as more and more lack laptops and other devices switch to USB-C cables. If you're still in the market for one that plugs into a USB-A port, though, check out Atola's 5-port USB 3.0 hub. Compatible with most Windows, Mac OS, and Linux systems, the hub ships with an optional wall adapter for when you're using power-hungry devices. It includes four data-only USB 3.0 ports on the top of the hub, along with a fast charging port that can put out up to 2.4 amps in a useful touch. Each of the ports on top has a separate on, off switch and lights up to let you know it's in use. This simple, inexpensive hub is ideal for transferring files, charging a single device, and connecting external accessories like a mouse, keyboard, or card reader. Number 2. Anchor Power Expand 8 Inch Minus 1 the Anchor Power Expand 8-inch minus 1 USB-C hub has all of the extra ports you're likely to need, while also supporting power delivery PD. for charging your laptop. Plug it into a wall socket, and you'll get pass-through charging of up to 85 watts. On board, you'll find a 10 Gbps USB-C PD port, USB-C data, 2 USB 3.0 data, 4K HDMI, 1 Gbps Ethernet, and both SD and Microsoft card readers. That's a lot, and should easily cover most requirements. Thanks to that pass-through charging, you don't even lose a USB-C port when you're using it. Unusually for hubs like these, you get 60Hz refresh rate at 4K resolution from the HDMI port. Most top out at 30Hz which makes for a less smooth viewing experience. The only real downside is that you can't charge from the USB 3.0 ports or the USB-C data port, so this isn't the answer for powering a bunch of devices at the same time. For almost anything else, however, it's the way to. Number 3. StarTech USB Type-C Mini Dock StarTech.com USB-C Multiport Adapter USB-C to 4K 60Hz HDMI 2.0, 100W PD pass-through, SD, micro SD, 2-port USB hub, GB, USB Type-C mini dock, 12 attached cable, replaces DKT 30C SDHPD, DKT 30C HSDPD1 as I mentioned up top. It's rare to find hubs that offer much in the way of extra charging options. That's especially true when it comes to the USB-A ports, despite there often being two, three, or more of them available. They're almost always data only. That's why this StarTech model is a breath of fresh air, as well as 88 watts USB-C pass-through. You'll also get up to 12 watts from one of the two USB-A ports. It's dependent on how much the connected device actually requires, but I measured a consistent 6 to 8 watts when charging an older smartphone. If you're not using the USB-C socket in pass-through mode, in other words, there isn't a cable plugged between it and a wall socket, you can also use it to charge your smaller devices. Don't expect huge output, but I was able to at least charge a phone at normal speed. Number 4. Anchor 5 inch minus 1 USB-C hub. Anchor USB-C hub adapter. 5 inch minus 1 adapter with 4K USB-C to HDMI, Ethernet port, 3 USB 3.0 port. For MacBook Pro, iPad Pro, XPS, Pixelbook, and more if you like to travel light, you'll appreciate Anchor's Slimline 5 inch minus 1 USB C hub. It weighs less than 2 ounces, but still manages to pack in 3 USB 3.0 data ports, an HDMI port, 
and an Ethernet port. It also comes with a convenient pouch to protect your hub on the move. The USB 3.0 ports are all data only, and aren't intended for charging. They're designed for connecting external devices such as a hard drive, mouse, or keyboard and will quickly transfer files to or from your laptop. If your laptop supports USB-C PD, however, or you know you'll need the extra USB-C ports or card readers, it's worth considering the Anker 7-inch minus one USB-C hub mentioned above. It's a bit bigger and heavier, but the extra ports and pass-through charging will justify the size for many travelers. Number 5. Abrant 4 Port USB 3.0 Hub Sabrent 4 Port USB 3.0 Hub with individual LED power switches, HBUM43, the Sabrent 4 Port USB 3.0 Hub is a simple and effective budget USB hub that lets you turn one USB port into four. All ports supports transfer speeds of up to 5 Gbps, but since they're not powered, don't expect to charge your devices from them. Compatible with Windows, MacOS, and Linux operating systems, the hub is lightweight and includes individual on, off switches for each USB PO. It also comes with a two-foot cable, which may be good or bad depending on your needs. The cable will get you closer to other devices like an external monitor or television screen, but it can get in the way if you don't require the extra length. You won't be adding any extra power or functionality with this hub. But it's a cheap and easy way of adding a bunch of USB ports to your laptop or desktop comput. Number 6. Gym 4 inch minus 1 USB C hub. USB C hub. Gym 4 inch minus 1 USB C to HDMI adapter with 4K USB C to HDMI hub. 100 watts power delivery, USB 3.0 comma Thunderbolt 3 hub compatible for MacBook Pro, XPS, iPad Pro, more Type-C devices The Kajim 4-inch minus 1 USB-C hub is an easy, low-cost way of making better use of your laptop's USB-C ports. The hub includes a USB-C PD port, an HDMI port, and two USB-A sockets. Ideal for adding an external mouse or keyboard, connecting to a monitor, or transferring files via a memory stick or portable drive. It's a useful little tool, does what it needs to for the price, and covers the basic needs of many laptop owners. You can charge devices from the USB-C port, or plug anything up to a 100 watts charger into it to power your laptop. That'll also provide extra power to the USB-A ports. Handy when you've got hard drives or other high draw gadgets plugged in. The HDMI port, as usual with cheaper hubs, supports 4K at 30Hz or 1080p at 60Hz. Note that the USB-C PD port is only for charging, and can't transfer data. Don't plan to plug in a hard drive or on a monitor from it. Number 7. Anchor Power Expand Direct 8-inch minus 2. Anchor USB-C Hub for MacBook. Power Expand Direct 8 inch minus 2 USB C adapter compatible with Thunderbolt 3 USB C port, 4K HDMI port, USB C and USB A 3.0 data ports, SD and Microsoft card reader. Lightning Audio Apple has been ruthless about removing ports from most of its laptops, forcing users to resort to expansion hubs to add them back. USB C ports may be the way of the future. But chances are you're still lugging around some tech from the past, and if you're not, those around you are. When you get tossed a USB key to grab a file, you need to know you can correct the Anchor Power Expand Direct 8 inch minus 2 USB C hub for MacBook includes a Thunderbolt 3 USB C port with 100 watts PD charging, a USB C data transfer port, two USB 3.0 ports. SD and Microsoft card readers, Lightning Audio, and an HDMI port. The slim device matches the look of Apple laptops, attaching directly to both USB-C slots on the side of your laptop. This means you won't have any cords hanging loose off of your computer, but you also won't get any closer to other devices if you're trying to share ports with friends or reach a wall-mounted TV. 
The downside to this hub is that you need to plug it into two Thunderbolt ports, but only get one in return. That might be if you have a MacBook with four USB-C ports. But if yours only has two, you might want the bulkier 7-inch-1 version of the hub instead.